What's up YouTube, back with another video. And today we're gonna go over how to call plays faster using the new favorite play feature. And I'm gonna talk about the feature, what it does, how it works, and my thoughts on it because I do like it, but it is a little bit flawed. I also have a video going over what play names mean. So like fist, punch, quick, give. I'll go over what some of those means. I give examples. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll put it on the screen at the end and in the description. But let's get into this new favorite play feature. So this feature was designed to make play calling faster because the way it is now like you have to press lb then rb then pick the player you want to run the play for then use the triggers to scroll through the plays and that takes a lot of time so what they added was that you can go well since i'm in practice i it says substitution but when you're in a real game it'll say game plan and you can go to offensive settings which is new like in years past they only had defensive settings but you can go all the way to play selection and edit plays and so i'm just gonna remove some of these and you can add plays and assign them to whichever player you want so this quick isolation right here we could just assign that we're gonna assign that to lillard you go to select play and then you can pick any play that's in the playbook so I'm gonna pick that one. Uh let's go with this one. This one. Alright. And you could and like I said, you could assign these plays to any player. So we can assign this one to McCullum. We can assign this one to Lillard. We can add this one and assign it to Whiteside. So now when you go into the game, you can just press LB and then it'll be right there and so you don't have to find a player you can just find a play that you want to run in two button presses and that makes play calling way faster and way easier and you can give a player multiple plays like I gave Damian Lillard two plays but if I wanted to I could give a player all those plays but once a play is given to a player, it can't be used by anybody else. So the quick one chest I gave to McCullum, but if I wanted to run it for Lillard, I would have to do positional play calling and scroll through all the menus and press all the buttons to call it for him. And I like this feature, but as far as I know, there's no way to save this. And that was my biggest gripe with the defensive settings. Like these settings right here is that you had to do this before every game, which was annoying. And I don't see why there's a there's not a way to save this. Like you created this feature to save time, but you still end up wasting time in one way or another. You're either going to spend time on the shot clock, pressing all the buttons, going through the playbook and finding the play. Or you're going to spend time on your pause timer if you're playing on online or just time before the game setting up everything and having to do that before every single game so i would have liked to see a way to save this and like it kind of makes you question like do they actually play the game and test it because this isn't something that you notice if you play a lot like i noticed this after two games i was like why can't i save this like they expected us to do this before every game and like i said i had the same problem with the defensive settings and it got to a point where some games i wouldn't even change my defensive settings like i would just leave it default because i didn't feel like doing it every single game and this is not a hard fix like they could just add an extra menu in the the global settings to have offensive and defensive settings there because they have it for your controller settings and the coaching settings so you can like turn off the or turn on like manual auto substitutions and timeouts and late game fouling all that stuff like and i think at some point in in the past in the older 2ks you had to do that before every game and then they made they put it into the the global settings in the main menu so you only have to do it once so why can't they just do that for this like i don't understand i don't know so that would make a lot of sense but you know 2k b2k and yeah that's the end of the video because i'm about to start ranting and i don't want to do that so i hope this video helped you and like i said i'll put the video i made about the play names on the screen and in the description and thanks for watching stay tuned for more content